You have a good Comic Con? Oh, cool. Wow. Did you get this off eBay? <laughs> Sorry. I love it. No, okay. Oh, side. hey, that's pretty cool. Is that like it's special? No, nope. oh, okay. just a weird. That's really cool. Hey, okay. Let me ask you this: Where we are now with the show and when looking back from the journey it's been on, just what is your assessment of it in terms of what the show accomplished and what legacy represents that super? Well, it's right. It's a good question. I've been asked that question a lot, and I, my answer is really lame, which is I, I don't know because I don't think about it because. The goal has always been don't screw it up. That, that's literally been where we've been since day one, and it's it's just a true day because we're just like don't screw it up. You know, um, I don't I don't know what the show's legacy is, and the truth of the matter is it's not for me to decide. It's really for the fans and you know and the audience to decide. Like you know, everyone and trust me, I've, I've noticed over the last eight years people are not shy about expressing their opinion. So like. They're going to tell us where the show fits and what the show's legacy is, and whatever people think, that's that's what the answer is. Do you know how it's going to end? Do. do you always have the end? Um, yes and no. Uh, I, I always knew I always knew Oliver's end. Um, the, the specifics of it have changed over the years after certain things, and then a, like a couple of weeks ago, I was meditating, and... Uh, something unusual happened. I came out of the meditation and I had the last scene. I mean, the entire last scene. I just quickly took it up. Like, um, and that's never happened to me. It's so weird. Um, very, very rarely do you know do certain things just come to me, and uh, that did. And I hope we get to film it. Um, and we'll we'll see. How will the dynamic of the show be now that original team Arrow has been broken apart? Great question. Um, we're, you know, I think we're trying we're trying something a little new this year. Um, I don't want to spoil exactly what the new Team Arrow is going to look like, but it it will feel I think both familiar and new. Um, the familiar part will be certainly the Oliver Diggle relationship will will go on in the way that you're used to. And then everyone else who is still working to, you know, save Star City, um, you know, that's a separate, that's a separate conversation, it's a separate, a separate thing. How impactful is this year's crossover going to be? Because the other crossovers like to come together and to go apart to go back to their own lives. How impactful is this? Um, I would say it's, it's for Arrow, it's very impactful. I think for all the judges, it's very impactful. Um, you know, we're we're obviously dealing this year with some really cosmic big stuff, and the conversations that myself and all the showrunners have had is we now with with this concept of the crossover, we have the opportunity to do something really radical and uh, be very impactful. Um, and I never like to make those sorts of promises, but I will say, like, I know specifically with the case of Arrow, the the ramifications are, are pretty big. Um, especially since we know we've, we've only got two more episodes after the crossover for Arrow to finish up. So Arrow's a, Arrow has luxuries that the other shows don't have. What, um, what can you tease about the first episode of this new season? What can fans expect? What Ooh, okay. Ooh, I gotta be careful. Um, <laughs> I gotta be careful. Uh, it's funny, I want to say, like, of all the season premieres I've written, they've all been written in really exotic places. Um, this year's, spin, this year's uh, the season premiere was the Maldives. Uh, you know, uh, it's unexpected. Um, it, at the same time, I will say, I, I, when I finished writing my scenes, I sent them off to Beth Schwartz, and I said to Beth, not in a bad way, this feels like a series finale. It doesn't feel like a season premiere. Um, and in many ways, I think that has been the design of the season. Is really, we are obviously going to do a series finale, and we're going to do our best to make it epic and awesome. But the whole season is really meant to be a coda on the entire series. Cool. Awesome. I like that. Right. I was going to get it. It's like, how will behave you guys? Like, do you want to get another question? Who's trying to be good? Who's, apart from Oliver, whose journey are you most excited for fans to see this year? Oh, good question. Uh, I got to say Mia. Um, you know, uh, 
her her journey is really interesting, especially since she's really starting off from a very, you know, sort of new place. It's it, it, Her story is a very season one kind of story. And that's fun. It's fun to revisit that level of newness and that level of, hey, we're, you know, like, I'll, I'll say, like, you know, she's, you know, at the end of season six, uh, sorry, season seven, you know, uh, Felicity and Renee and, and Dinah sort of, you know, blessed them and said, you're, you're doing it, you know, Team Arrow 2.0, Go, go forth and, you know, save the city. And the one story that we never quite told when we were doing, you know, the original seasons of Arrow were, were the growing pins. You know, I mean, Team Arrow pretty much, they, fe- they, they, they definitely like had their disagreements, but they fell in and became a unit really fast. We never told the story of the gang who can't shoot straight. Um, and we're doing that a bit with the future. And that's kind of fun and nice. It's very original. Like, it, it, it feels right that, of course, you have these kids, and they're just kids who are working together without any mentors, and there are going to be mistakes along the way. And that's that's fun. That makes for some good drama. Also, oh, yeah, you. Okay, personally, as a showrunner, and person got, you know, obviously guiding the show, uh, we asked the question about the legacy before. Personally, what did you come away from having been involved with the show? Great question. Um, that's a really good question. I, I, I just, I, I'm just really grateful. Like, I, it's been an amazing experience. I've never had a job for this long. Um, you know, I, I love all the people involved, both in front of and behind the camera. Um, and I'm, I'm humbled because. I think, and I think I speak for everyone involved in the show, we never expected it to go this long. We never expected it to, like, be quote-unquote relevant, you know, that people were asking those kinds of questions. Um, so, it, we're just lucky. We're really, really lucky. I've, I've worked on a lot of shows that, you know, I've worked on some shows that people have paid attention to, other shows that people haven't paid attention to, but nothing that's gone on as long as Arrow that's worked as many shows as Arrow has, and, you know, it's, it's a blessing when you're able to accomplish those things. Really, really lucky. We're, we're, we're very, very fortunate. Cool. Thanks, guys. Thank you very much. All right, appreciate it.